guys, Hiller here from my so-called home. I wanted to share with you today what I am getting for my husband, Dan, for Christmas, both as his gift and also to put in his stocking. So let me share it with you. So the first thing I picked up for him is just a flannel button-down shirt. My husband lives in flannels. So this was from a company called Field and Stream, but I bought it at Marshalls, which is one of my favorite resources for guys' clothes because I feel like you can get different kinds of name brands that aren't typical like big box brands and the quality seems to be better but then they're at like a discounted price because Marshalls is like a discounted store so this is a nice warm flannel for him and it was less than 20 bucks something else I got for Dan is this Duracell power strip inverter now my husband is a car guy so if you also have a car guy in your life this is an adapter that hooks up to um, the cigarette lighter you can either use a regular plug into the converter or you can also use USB there's different ports for both so he's actually going on like a guy's trip in the springtime so I thought this was a good thing he might be able to use in the car if they needed to plug in other devices and just something handy to have all the time I got this at Target and it was right around 30 bucks now the last gift that I got for my husband is this quilted coat and I had this on my mind to get for him because it's really nice. He could wear it in basically the three seasons, spring, fall, and winter. Um, it's not too heavy, so it's not like a super heavy winter coat, but it's a really good weight. You can layer with it. I got this at Macy's and let me tell you what an amazing deal I got on it. So the original retail price was $130, which I would never spend on a coat like this at Macy's because they always have deals. So I went there and it was already on sale, like 40% off. So I was like, okay, that's good. I would pay that. But then they had an additional 30% like friends and family discount, which they pretty much give to everybody because I had no coupon whatsoever. They were just like, oh, we're doing friends and family today. So you get an extra 30. I was like, nice. I don't have like a Macy's credit card or anything. They just gave it to me. And then I did have a Macy's gift card, so I have some credit left on it from literally, I think it was last Christmas, that I used it, and I still had about 40 bucks left on it. So the price went from 130 I think it was like 55 by the end. I spent $15 on this jacket for him. The brand is Tasso Elba, um, and it looks to be really great quality. I hope that he loves it, and I think he's going to look really good in it. So another thing I got for him that I don't know if it's gonna go in his stocking or if I'm just gonna wrap it and have it outside the stocking is this hot or cold thermos in the, you know, Christmassy plaid color. I actually bought this at a store called, um, what's it called? Tuesday Morning, which is another kind of like Marshall's discount store. And I saw this, I think in the summertime, but I loved it and I decided to pick it up and put it aside for him. Cause again, it's something he could bring to work or um, he's into camping. And also if he's going on this you know, road trip with the guys, I thought it'd be fun to have also. Um, it's from the brand Aladdin. So it's sort of like a remake of an older style that they used to carry. Um, that's very vintage right now, but this is just like a reproduction one. Now on to stocking stuffers. I love filling stockings. It's just so fun to get all these little things that I know he's gonna love. So let me show you what I got. The first thing of course I have to put in his stocking are the Haribo gummy bears. These are his favorite and Target had the Christmas version of them, the red and green. So I got two packs to stick in his stocking. Also from Target in their dollar spot, I got some hot hands. I got the two pack that are for your hands. And then there was like a super large one that's for your body and hand. Um, I just got four of them. They were a dollar each. These are fantastic to have. I've even used these sometimes if we're going out somewhere just to stick them in my pockets. If we're going to be outside for a while, they just last for such a long time. And it's a great thing to have if, uh, you know, your guy works outside or does anything outside. Also from Target and also for possibly that trip that he's going on, I got him a selfie stick. He is not a selfie guy. He would probably would never take a selfie of himself, but I thought it'd be fun because he's talked about wanting a GoPro before just to like film them doing fun things. I thought this was a super cheap, way other side of the spectrum uh, gift that sort of could achieve that goal of being able to film himself and his friends or family doing fun things. One more car thing was this tire gauge. I honestly don't even know if he has this. I'm sure he does or if he needs another one. I figured why not? It was only a couple bucks and again he's a car guy so it's something he could stick in his car or um, have with him at work. If, I'm sure he has things at work that he uses but um, I thought it was a good stocking stuffer so I'm gonna throw it in. I couldn't pass up this limited edition candy cane chapstick. In the winter time we are always using chapstick of course. And lastly of course I have to put in some snacks and some treats so I got him this Crave beef jerky. This is the sea salt original. Um, he's really into like smoked meats right now. <laughs> so I thought this was perfect. 
Along the same lines of that, I was at Aldi and I saw in their specially selected uh, section this Sobrasada Salami. Um, we just had something similar to this at our Christmas party, but um, again, along the lines of the specialty meats, I thought that this would be something that would be worth trying. And lastly, two fun treats. Of course, I had to get him a candy cane. So Evie picked this one out. It's actually uh, the Jolly Rancher one, which I didn't know that they made, but I think Dan's gonna like that. He likes hard candy. Um, and then also a Hershey's Cookies and Cream bar, which is his favorite. And it, we, there's a story behind this because we used to date in high school and he randomly asked me one day, do you like those Hershey's Cookies and Cream bars? Like completely out of the blue. And I was like, what are you talking about? So it's kind of a joke, but it's also one of his favorites. So I'm gonna put it in his stocking. So that was everything that I have with me on hand to wrap and put in his stocking and under the tree. I may still get one or two other things depending on how time allows but that was everything i have so far and i really just wanted to wrap them and get them put away so that he doesn't find out or see anything so hope you guys enjoyed i am going to be sharing also what's in evie's stocking and what we're giving her for christmas but she's right here so i can't film it right now so you're gonna have to wait and see uh what we're doing for her so thanks so much for watching guys and i'll talk to you soon bye